Look, I guarantee that every single person watching this video will find something to make their streams better or, or I'll give you your money back. But real quick, can I just be like the old man of Twitch real quick and be like, back, back in my day on Twitch, we didn't even have browser sources yet, which is actually true. But when I started back in 2015, we didn't have browser sources. Like if you wanted to have an alert set up on your stream, you had to open your alert window in a separate Chrome tab and it would have your alerts in front of a green background. And then you would capture that Chrome window into OBS and then you would chroma out the green background. The whole point I'm trying to make here is that there are incredible tools for streamers nowadays. And I'm going to share with you not not just three tools, but three suites of tools, tools that will make your streaming life just a little bit better. Have you noticed that we've been updating the way these videos look on this channel lately? Things like text graphics, zoom plugins, motion graphics. There's kind of a never ending effort to find our style here on this channel. And if that's something that you've wanted to do for your channel, but you've kind of struggled with it, there's a great Skillshare course called Find Your Style, Five Exercises to Unlock Your Creative Identity. Skillshare is the sponsor of this video and they are a massive online learning community where you can learn exactly what you want, exactly when you want to learn it. Since the classes are structured and easy to follow lessons. This Find Your Style class by Andy J Pizza is all about learning to share your talents in a way that's fun to watch and feels like the most expressive interpretation of what's inside of you. He has specific exercises to help break past some of those creative blocks. And at the end, you'll have your own personal style guide that you can refer to whenever you're creating, whether that's art or music or videos. And there's also way more to learn on Skillshare. There are business classes, design classes, marketing classes, even lifestyle classes. So if you're finally ready to learn that skill that's been sitting on the back burner, now might be your chance to do it. Use the link in the description below and sign up. And the first thousand of you that use that link will get a free month's trial of Skillshare. So check it out. Back to the video. Oh, hey, look, my shirt changed. Uh, hey guys, there are a million amazing streaming tools and I'm just going over three particular ones. If you guys really enjoy this video and you wanna see more streamer tools and me sharing everything I can find on the internet that streamers can use, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you know of a tool that I haven't spoken about yet, let me know and maybe we'll make this a series. Sound good? All right, well, let's start with one that I saw on TikTok that is specifically made to make your streaming life a hundred times easier. It's called Adam, and it was started by the Twitch drummer and OBS power user, Mr. Greggles, who, if you're not familiar with Mr. Greggles, he's the octopus drummer from the recent Elgato ad who looks like he's about to fight Obi-Wan Kenobi. General Kenobi. Anyway, Mr. Greggles uses a six PC streaming setup and wanted to develop a system that would make controlling his stream not a nightmare. And then once he finished it, he released that software to everyone. Let me tell you a couple things it can do. Starting with number one, completely automate your stream. Just to give you an example of this, because there are, there are a billion of them, let's say you wanna get rid of pre-roll ads. Here's what you do. You set up a BRB screen that you use when you go to the bathroom or whatever, and then inside Atom, you set it so that every time you switch to that scene, it automatically plays a mid-roll ad. Then you just take a bathroom break once an hour, which by the way, if you're streaming for hours and hours on end, you should be taking a break or two every hour. So just do that, and then every time you switch to that scene, Adam automatically runs an ad on Twitch. That was the feature I saw him doing in a TikTok, and I was like, that is the coolest thing ever. It also only took him like less than 60 seconds to set up. It's a super intuitive software. But I saw it, and I had to know what else it could do. So here are two other things that it can do. It can combine multiple PCs into like a singular hive mind so that you can control them all from one PC. Meaning, let's say you run a two PC setup or maybe you have two different setups, like you have your gaming setup and you have like a kitchen setup, right? You can set up your main computer or your gaming PC or whatever as your master and then you have your stream deck plugged into that one. Your stream deck can now control any other computer. It can control your gaming computer. It can control your kitchen computer. It can control your entire network of PCs. One stream deck, one PC controls all of them. Okay, one more item feature. So I'm gonna do three features on each of these suites. You can completely control super advanced channel point rewards. Like you set them up in seconds on Atom and then they appear in Twitch chat. They're just there. And let me explain what I mean by advanced. Like let's say you have a channel points reward that's really only applicable during gameplay or like during a specific game. Like let's say um, it plays a jump scream or jump, jump scare, jump scare scream during a scary game. And that it doesn't make sense to do that while you're in just chatting or while you're playing a shooter game, right? You can set that specific channel reward to only be active while a specific scene 
is active. So if you switch from your gameplay scene to your just chatting camera, that reward will just disappear. Like automatically, you don't have to do anything. And then you go back to the scary game, that channel reward point appears again. That way people don't end up wasting their channel reward points when it's not applicable. It's really cool. Anyway, Atom is super dope and it's super reliable. Like. Dead Mouse uses it right now. So I'll leave a link down below for this and also the other ones that I'm gonna talk about. Atom is free for 30 days and then it's $5 a month after that. But I reached out to Greg and I was like, hey, can they use my link? Can we get him a discount? So yeah, use code Senpai for a discount. I just checked my DMs and he didn't tell me how much the discount was. But I'm assuming that by the time we posted this, I reached out and he let me know. So Scott knows how much the discount is, which it's this much. You're welcome. All right, let's move on from Atom. Next plugin suite. Let's talk about Exceldro plugins. Exceldro has a bunch of dope stuff. Let's talk about three of them. Let's talk about the motion transitions first. Motion effects on your sources have, have been around for a bit, but I feel like there's always a bit of trepidation there. Uh, Exceldro has done a good job of well, like building these really well and also maintaining them properly. So if you're looking for a solid motion plugin, you've been meaning to dive into it, but you've been hesitant, now is your chance. You can have sources actively moving, you can have them resizing, you can have them cropping, anything you need sources to do as they're moving around on your screen, Exceldro Motion motion Transition can do it. Also, thought I'd share with you, that's actually something you can control with Atom. So if you want to have chat, be able to use channel reward points to then move your camera or something around the screen, I mean, I feel like you can get a lot weirder with that. So get weird with that, I don't know. What are you guys gonna think of? The first thing that popped into my mind was like an eggplant emoji that slowly moved closer and closer to the person's face as people re redeem channel points, but Maybe it's just because it's four in the morning and I should stop thinking about that stuff. <laughs> Number two from Exceldro, Source Record is an awesome one. This lets you record a specific source separate from your entire scene, which is great for content creation. For example, I record all my active cameras separately using 4K Capture Utility by Elgato, since I use Elgato Capture Cards. But then if I'd also like to record my gameplay completely separate from all my alerts and my camera overlay and everything, I can do that using source record. Then it's really easy just to take the two pieces, slap them together for TikToks and YouTube shorts and stuff. And then Exceldro number three, source dock. This allows you to take any source that's in your scene or not even in your scene and dock it in a completely separate window, which is super useful for things like uh, you know, video call interviews, like Discord interviews or something, right? Where you wanna be able to monitor the person that you're interviewing while still being able to switch scenes and go back and forth and not really lose that conversational aspect with them. Anyway, like I said, Exceldro stuff is free and it's very well maintained, so check it out. And then also, go ahead and check out the like button. See what I did there? But really, hitting the like button is free and it helps out a ton, it would be great. And then if you don't have any opinion on what I'm saying that you'd like to share in a comment, just please throw in uh, your favorite emoji that you're feeling at the moment because it helps out a lot with engagement. Thanks for that. Okay, last suite here because we've talked about Atom, we've talked about Exceldro. Number three, let's talk about stream effects, which has been a, a kind of a staple in the OBS community for a while, but I still feel like there's a good chunk of people who have never even heard of it. Stream Effects is a suite of advanced sources and filters that really help you bring out the aesthetics of your stream and, and do some really creative stuff. For example, you have shaders, which are really cool visualization effects for your sources. So things like adding a blur, or maybe adding a posterization effect or an 8-bit effect onto your, onto your camera or your gameplay. It also comes with a solid color grading plugin, so that way you can get that nice film look on your camera without having to use or install a lot. Another really cool tool with stream effects is the dynamic mask, which allows you to use any source in OBS as a mask for another source. So like, hear me out on this one, you could create a source mask, then use Exceldro's motion transition to move that mask around the scene. So different areas of whatever you put in there are getting masked off. And then you can have your audience control the movement of that mask using Atom, and you could do things like control your own, like, Where's Waldo? Have your chat play Where's Waldo on your stream? I don't know, but I'm just, it's four in the morning. I'm not saying this is like the best use case scenario. I'm just trying to show you how far you can take it and go off and do your own weird stuff with it, you know? But what do you think? Are, are any of these interesting? I mean, you watched all the way to the end. If you're hearing this question right now, do any of these interest you? Are you gonna go download these? But all links in the all the links are in the description, by the way. You're gonna go download any of these, give some of them a shot. Let me know which ones. And probably more importantly, do you want me to continue this as a series and share with you guys all the tools that I can find for streamers? Let me know that in the comments down below. 
And as always, happy streaming. I'm going to bed. I'm killing myself here.